When you're going to engage in speculations like, um, what am I? What is the universe? Um, that kind of thinking, if you pursue it rigorously enough, can push you over the edge. <laughs> um, it can really make you a little bit loopy. Now, okay, um, there's nothing necessarily wrong with going loopy, I suppose, provided it's not loopy in a dangerous way. But there's really no way to know what direction your loopiness is going to go if you're not grounded, if you're not self-disciplined, which is why I think that moderation in your thinking habits and uh, care in the way that you're going to allow your speculations to go is an essential uh, prerequisite to fundamentally uh, earth-shattering or mind-blowing speculations. Um, so you get the strange phenomenon, as you point out, of the moderate radical, the person who's willing to let their mind go in any conceivable direction, and yet you see this person who's rather ordinary, um, who you know just doesn't really do anything particularly crazy, doesn't have any extreme points of view, um, and uh, doesn't really expect to go anywhere with their attitudes, with their speculations, with their point of view. Well, you don't go anywhere in your day-to-day -day life, but you go places all right with your speculations. Um, that's one enormous uh, advantage to radical moderation, I suppose. Uh, you can, by the virtue of the fact that you've got your feet planted firmly on the ground, um, at least in a certain sense, you can completely unleash your mind in other senses and not really get freaked out by uh, what some might, what some people might call more or less um, crazy speculations. Uh, you can go into this uh, place where you, as I say, argue the universe and yourself out of existence, and it doesn't really affect you because you have the capacity, you have the sort of uh, anchoring that you can sort of pull back and sort of say, okay, I'm um, back to sort of a place where I can assimilate this new uh, uh, speculation and I don't have to worry about um, being, shall we say, uh, disoriented by, um, by being too radical in my speculations. Radical moderation also has another enormous advantage. It, uh, it allows you to alter your position without looking totally hip hypocritical, uh, at least in your own eyes. There's always people that are going to see the obvious inconsistencies in everyone's arguments, but at least if you haven't really dug your heels in hard and been telling people what jerks they are for their opinions, you're not stuck. Um, I think that some people who take an extremely hard line on... Uh, on certain points of view, end up painting themselves into a corner because you've just taken such a hard line on whatever issue it is that you've that you've got that you kind of can't get out of there. Uh, there's a there's a certain um, boxed in effect that you yourself have created. You've uh, you've not only in, in the sight of other people have you sort of made it impossible for yourself to sort of alter the position that you've put yourself in. But I think in your own estimation of yourself, you're, you're boxed in. Um, because I think that when you get extreme in your points of view, to a certain extent, that's a, a level of mental rigidity that uh, is difficult to get out of. And it's difficult to um, admit that that kind of... Um, that that kind of position is in and of itself self-defeating. Um, in other words, if uh, I believe something very strongly, if I'm a something or other ist, and a certain point of view comes along that challenges that, well, if I've told anyone else who is a non-something or other ist uh, what a jerk they are and how stupid they are and how wrong they are, but let's be honest, we all do that, but um, I mean aggressively and uh, sort of adamantly, and then my own thinking has become to a certain extent harnessed. I'm not really able to 
move around anymore uh, and get beyond the rigid position that I've taken in terms of my own cognitions. I'm stuck. Um, so I think that radical moderation, in, an, in another sense, is something... Uh, is, is a form of, uh, if you ask me, keeping your options open at all times while at the same time holding a definite position. Just because your position changes from time to time doesn't really mean that um, you're a weather vane, that you'll believe any old thing depending on what time of day it is. Uh, what it means is the human... Uh, journey, I suppose, the human lifespan is more or less a, a series of new realizations, or it often is, and one hopefully learns as, you, as one goes along, and you don't allow yourself to learn anything new if you deliberately sort of rigidify, if that word exists, your own type of thinking. You can't continue to evolve if you sort of stick yourself to a position. It's a tricky one, though, because um, you you really have to sort of, in, in a sense, exercise a level of sort of double think, a, a sort of a level of, um, of uh, flexibility that often gets perceived as dishonesty. Um, just because you're uh, willing to alter your position as time goes by doesn't mean that you're dishonest. It just means that new information has come along that has made you alter your position. And this doesn't really say that you should have no position on in anything ever. It sounds like that to other people, but that's not necessarily the case. Because ultimately, um, who are you really trying to enlighten here? Everybody else or <laughs> yourself? Thank you.